hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so guys today in this video i'm gonna tell you how to fix ios 17 haptic keyboard not working issue so guys many ios 17 users are complaining about their haptic keyboard is not working properly and they don't know how to fix this so guys don't worry i will tell you how to fix this issue first of all you have to do is check for haptic feedback settings you have to go to your settings then go to sound and haptics then go to haptics Sorry, scroll down and you have to ensure that the system system haptics option is turned on. This settings controls haptics feedback for system interactions, including the keyboard. After this, then you have to do is restart your iPhone. A simple restart can sometimes resolve haptics issues. Turn off your iPhone by going to general. Then scroll down and then tap on shut down. Shut down your iPhone then restart it after 15 to 20 seconds later after restarting your iphone when you have to do is toggle the toggle the keyboard haptics off and on go to your settings and go to sound and haptics scroll down and then simply tap on system haptics and disable it wait for a few seconds and then enable it again after this then you have to do is update your ios version make sure your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS 17. Update often include bug fixes and improvements. So you have to go to your general, tap on software update, and check if there is any available update for your iPhone. If there is, then simply update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS 17. After this, then you have to check for app specific issue. If the haptic feedback issue is, is specific to a particular app, check the app settings for any haptics related option, or you can also try reinstalling the app. After checking app specific issue and you are still facing the same issue and your sound uh, haptics keyboard is not working then you have to do is reset all settings. You can try setting all settings without erasing your personal data. So if you go to your settings, go back and then go to general, tap on transfer reset iPhone, tap on reset, tap on reset all settings, enter your passcode and fix your issue. So guys, if this video helps you, then make sure to like and subscribe my YouTube channel for upcoming videos. And thanks for watching.